Hey guys, I'm Marty Geek. In this video, I just want to share with you guys something that I don't think is that practical right now in 2023 when it comes to optical drives. Um, but uh, just the other day, I was playing on my Steam Deck and I saw this optical drive, which I have on my my table. Um, I don't know why, because I haven't used it for years. But I saw this and I was like, wait a second. I wonder if this can actually work with the Steam Deck with our computer, right? Because normally you need to connect this to a laptop or to a computer and so you can play DVDs or Blu-rays or whatever and, and burn CDs as well, right? Um, but I said, can I connect it here to the Steam Deck? And I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and try it out. And it actually worked for me. And I'm just gonna show you guys how it did work for me. Uh, for example, right now, you have to download, of course, a player that's actually compatible, of course, with um you know video files right so the player that i downloaded was vlc from the steam deck store um of course it has to be in desktop mode which i'm going to show you guys right now and i also applied a like, little custom art that way you can you can see the custom art right there you can also add another custom art if you want there as well but i just didn't want to waste too much time right um, but what we want to do is going to show you guys for you guys that are new to the steam deck just go ahead and hit power Hit switch to desktop, right? It's gonna switch to desktop. I'm gonna use my mouse, <laughs> which is um, already paired with the Steam Deck, so I don't have to touch the screen too much. So what you wanna do when you're here, right, in the screen, here in the bottom, you got this right here, which is Discover, which is basically like a software center where you download applications for Linux, right? So here, there's a tab that says multimedia. If you click right there, boom, the first application that appears there. I don't know if, I don't know if it's because I already did install it, but look at that, VLC. But if it doesn't appear there, just go ahead and search right here, VLC, boom, and you're going to see it right there. It's one of the most popular ones. And if you keep on looking, right, if you keep on browsing through this list, you're going to find applications that will actually... Look at this, like a Sunder CD Ripper. will actually let you rip CDs, music, to your library, to your hard drive. So there's a lot of applications you can use from here, right? If you don't find something here, you can also just go ahead and open the Chrome browser and download it from the proper website as well. Like, for example, if you don't find Kodi, you can go download Kodi, install it to, the, I believe you have to download the Linux version because this is practically Linux, not Windows. And that's it. Once you do that, all you got to do is go to your Steam, right? The Steam application, which is right there, right? Make sure you go to games, right? It says add non-Steam that game to my library. Click right there. And you're going to look for VLC or Kodi, whichever you download it. You're going to look for it because you want to add it to your library. That way, when you're in gaming mode, you can actually see it in your library. Okay? So that's what you want to do. You want to click on one of the applications. Boom. Hit it. Add it. Once it adds it, it's going to be in your library. Right? It's going to be in your library. Once you find it here in your library... Um, I find it if you want to actually have it um, better organized, I recommend to put it like in my favorites. So anything that you find here, for example, let's say I want to put Titanfall 2 because I, I won't find VLC because I already put it in my favorites. But let's say this is a VLC, right? Check in 7. I can add it to my add to favorites, right? Add to favorites. And now when I go to here favorite boom is going to be right here see right there once you add voc right there it's going to be blank because there's no cover so what you want to do is right click it says manage and right now it says clear custom artwork that's because it already has an artwork if it doesn't have an artwork it's going to say add custom artwork so you're going to add custom artwork search for the image that you downloaded from chrome whatever voc and that's it. It's going to add it to your, it's going to add it like this. It's going to make it look like that. So once you're done, just you can just close it. We're going to go ahead back to gaming mode, right? Um, this is the player. This is, this player only plays DVD and CD. This is not actually a Blu-ray player, right? It's going to zoom out again. This is not an actual Blu-ray player, but um, 
it's going to be able to play CDs and DVDs, which is what I want to show you guys here in the video. That's going to actually work, right? Uh, right now, you're going to need a dock because you can't connect this straight to the Steam Deck because the Steam Deck is not powerful enough to actually run this, run movies from this enough, right? It's not powerful enough. So you're going to have to have a, a, a dock. It doesn't matter which dock you have as long as it has... Of course, um, USB, right? A USB port that you can connect your device. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna connect here at one one of the one of the USB ports. There you go, right there. It's connected to the power. It's connected to the to the Steam Deck. There you go. I'm just gonna put it like that. Put it like that. And right here, I'm gonna go ahead, right. Uh, let's go ahead to library and here is in my uh, right now this has tabs right these tabs is gonna be a non steam non steam so we're gonna go ahead VLC we're gonna get hit play it's gonna open up the player look at that it's gonna open up the VLC player um, here we're gonna go ahead um, add um, let me show you guys that first of all let's go and try a cd right this is a cd from joji i think it is goji or joji Boop. you can actually listen to it it's, this is a very nice player which is portable very silent so right here i'm going to go to audio audio devices or playback play so it's going to tell me what i want to play right uh, disc, I'm going to play audio CD, just hit play, you can hear the, you can hear the optical drive going off, there you go, look at this, uh, look at all the tracks, all the tracks, and look at that, whoop, holy crap, Holy crap, those speakers sound a little bit bad, huh? Look at that. Look at that. That's awesome, right? I don't want to play too much because I don't want to get hit, hit by copyright. That's awesome. Stop. Okay, so now we can go ahead and eject. We'll go ahead again. Zoom out. Eject. Awesome. So like you saw there, CDs actually work. Actually work. And like I said, if you download the proper application, you might be able to actually burn CDs or whatever to your drive. So this is a DVD version of uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. I was trying to look in my library. I barely have DVDs or Blu-rays. I had a couple Blu-rays and I started playing Blu-rays. And I was like, wait a second, this thing does not play Blu-ray. It's not a Blu-ray player. I thought it was a Blu-ray player, and it's not, which kind of sucks. It would have been nice because I have more blue, I have more Blu-rays than DVDs now. So we're gonna head back over here, zoom in here a little bit more again. You can also check right here. You you can see this right here. You got playlists. You got my media, my video, my pictures. So if you have like files in your folders, practically you should be able to see it from there, right? Um, this no nope, close that. Uh, you got a disc, a disc right there. See, it's better when you have a mouse because it's better to navigate around. You hit, I hit disc is actually like loading something there. I don't know if it's actually loading the DVD. It should because it says disc. Uh, but you know you can also click here. Let me see if I click here. Nope, this is the playback. This is the mini player. So I'm going to go ahead and hit open disc, right? Open disc. Uh, this is a DVD. So I'm going to choose DVD and I'm just going to choose play. Boom. Now you can actually hear this going off. And voila. <laughs> look at how beautiful that looks. Look how beautiful that looks, right? Sony Pictures. Uh, right now, I think it's going to play a trailer because remember these damn movies, they have like a whole bunch of trailers at the beginning of the main movie, right? You see right here? Welcome to detention. 
Okay, okay so I'm just gonna lower down this. This is the trailer for Jumanji, I believe it is. Right, I'm gonna hit pause. I can actually use my fingers as well to manage this as well. And but what I want to do is I want to go straight to the movie, right? So if I go ahead here, boom, I could go ahead and see the tracks of the movie, which is kind of tricky there. I'm trying to go to the there you go. Damn it. Ah there you go. So you can actually tell which title is the movie because you're gonna see the you're gonna see the time the time is gonna be over two hours or if you know that the movie is like around one hour or one hour and a half that's gonna be the movie and basically that's it like right now uh, this homecoming is actually two hours and 13 minutes so that's the movie so right now you can actually pull forward boom if you go forward you know, you can just go ahead and jump ahead in the movie. And that's it. It works just like a regular movie. You know, you can jump ahead. Like you see here, it's compatible with your finger. So you can just touch the screen. The screen and just like that, you can actually... Look at that. That looks beautiful. You can actually go full screen as well if you want. Full screen. Boom. There you go. You go full screen as well. You can do that. You can pause the movie. And that's it. So like you see there... It's compatible. It is possible to actually hook up an optical drive to your Steam Deck via a dock. Okay, you have to have a dock. It doesn't matter which dock you have. You can have the cheapest dock as long as it has USB ports, which honestly, every port that's coming out for the Steam Deck has at least two USB ports. So that's all you need. And... If this was a Blu-ray player, believe me, it would play it, the Blu-ray player as well. The problem is, is that um, this is not a Blu-ray player. I thought it was, but it's only a, a CD and DVD. So if you were, you know, to play a, a, a Blu-ray player, you would click right here and then choose Blu-ray, right? Choose Blu-ray, hit play, and boom, voila. Of course, this is VLC. So whatever program you download, Cody, whatever you do, it's going to be a little bit different. Purpose of this video is to show you guys that, yes, it's possible to actually hook up an optical drive, which is not practical right now in 2023. It is possible to hook it up to the Steam Deck and watch movies from your DVD collection. You can listen to music. You can listen to Blu-ray. Uh, of course, when you want to quit this VLC, just click Exit. Boom, and that's it. You're done. And like you see right here, you can actually see that the this actually recognizes that you have an optical drive connected to the Steam Deck. There's a little logo right there that shows an optical drive connected. So if I unhook it, boom, boom, the little logo disappears, letting you know that, hey, this optical drive actually is recognized by the Steam Deck. So yeah, that's cool. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. 2023. Are you still using DVDs? Blu-ray? Let me know in the comments. Till next time. Bye-bye.